my involvement in civil rights has a lot to do with my background. I was born in December 1926 in Hamburg, Germany. I'm Jewish. I started German public schools just a few weeks after the Nazis came to power in 1933. Uh, and I spent uh, a good five and a half years uh, as a Jewish kid under the Nazis and uh, experienced what it meant to be discriminated and segregated. We were very lucky to be able to leave Germany in October 1938, just a few weeks before the program of November 9, 1938, which marked the beginning of the Holocaust. Um, I was not quite 12 years old. Um, we spent uh, three months in Chicago until we were relocated in Richmond, Virginia, not in Chicago, in New York, uh, and until we were relocated in uh, Richmond, Virginia. And uh, I found uh, how rich when a shock. Well, what shocked me was the whole system of Jim Crow, which reminded me an awful lot of uh, the discrimination I had seen in Germany, except that no, I was not uh, one of the discriminated, but uh, uh, saw uh, a large segment of the population as victims of discrimination. From that time on, I was very much committed to uh, working towards abolition uh, of um, discrimination and was active as a student in an interracial student organization um, in Richmond. Um, I then came to Chicago where I met my wife, who too had escaped from the Nazis in 1938. Uh, and uh, in, uh, we, we were married in 48 and in uh, the uh, fall of 1950, uh, we both went to Little Rock, Arkansas, where I had accepted a position at Philander Smith College. Um, I, I very quickly became involved in the civil rights uh, movement there. Uh, I made an attempt, which was successful to my surprise, to have uh, the racial bars lifted in the public library. And <coughs> was then asked by the uh, Little Rock branch of the NAACP to uh, head its education committee. And in connection with the education committee, I then planned uh, various actions, also legal actions, which ultimately led to uh, uh, the decision that uh, the Little Rock Central High School had to admit. Uh, um, black students. Um, in Little Rock, we lived on campus. We were part of the community. We also had white friends. So we lived in a, in, in a sort of interracial uh, setting. Uh, I had always been very skeptical about fraternities. Uh, I thought that they were elitist. Uh, I thought that they did not have a real uh, social commitment. So I never joined a fraternity at the University of Richmond, uh, a white fraternity, and I was very skeptical about black fraternities too. But <coughs> my dean at Rana Smith College, who was very active in the Sigmas, uh, ultimately convinced me to join the Sigmas. And I joined them because the Little Rock uh, chapter was quite active in uh, civil rights activities. And uh, uh, I gave talks for the Sigmas in various southern cities, in Atlanta, in uh, uh, Memphis, in uh, um, Texarkana, and uh, uh, then also spoke at the Conclave uh, in Cincinnati in 1955. After we left New Orleans, after we left Little Rock and went to New Orleans, I uh, continued to go to the Sigmas, but then lost interest because I felt that they were primarily a, a social group 
there's very little concern for the political and uh, uh, social challenges. And uh, well, I continue to be involved in uh, uh, civil rights uh, in um, New Orleans, in uh, Chicago, and later in, in, later in Buffalo. And uh, since 1961, uh, I was also very much involved in re-establishing uh, understanding between uh, uh, Germans and Jews. And we have spent a lot of time in Germany since then. And uh, my wife, Norma, has also been very much involved in uh, re-establishing contacts uh, in the Czech Republic. So, uh, one of our main tasks has always been to build bridges between ethnic, political, and um, national communities. For years I had lost contact with the Sigmas, until several years ago uh, I was suddenly approached by uh, a Sigma brother, Mark Passage, who had found me um, in, in the internet and who was hoping to uh, reconnect me with the Sigmas. I again was very skeptical as I had been originally when the question in the 50s first came out of joining the Sigmas. And uh, uh, only very recently had a chance to make contact with the uh, uh, Buffalo chapter, which I have, which I have uh, felt myself at home, and who I hope at least have some of the same concerns which I have, and I decided uh, now to again become a financial member of the Sigmas. <laughs>